Mark Claire here from Bounding Into Comics, and it is finally happening, my friends. The launch of Alpha Core coming from the Ripiverse. You can check out my article over at Bounding Into Comics. You can find the link in the description. Head on over, leave a comment. I want to know if you are as excited about Alpha Core as I am. Now, I will fully admit, I am a little bit of an Eric July simp. I've actually known Eric July since back in my political podcasting days, and I knew him since before I even knew he was into comics, or before he uh, became sort of big in the comic book commentary scene with his show for canon's sake, and next thing you know, I see this guy is launching his own comic book company, so I will admit... From the beginning, I was I was going to support and buy ISOM number one, number two. ISOM number one to help found the company, to help launch this project. I was going to contribute to that no matter what. And I saw enough in ISOM number one to say, all right, I'll see where Eric's going with this. It's his first book he's ever written. I'm going to give him a little bit of leeway. Is it the best book I ever read in my life? No. But it was interesting, and it was certainly different than a lot of what you get from the mainstream comics. So I bought ISOM number one. I bought ISOM number two. But this, to me, is the book that's really going to be the test for Eric July, the publisher. This is where he has brought in two comic veterans in Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett, two artists that I have loved. Uh, Dixon was one of the first artists that I read during Nightfall, where he created the character of Bane. And of course, Joe Bennett has also had a storied career over the last several decades, working on all sorts of works, Amazing Spider-Man, Teen Titans, uh, Immortal Hulk most recently. I loved his work on Supreme. But I want you to go ahead, check out this article on BoundingIntoComics.com where I preview what's to come from Alpha Core number one, which is shipping this week. Uh, in ISOM number one, we first got a little look at Alpha Core, just a very brief scene when the team showed up in order to battle Yaira, who is another superpowered being in the Ripiverse here. And we didn't learn too much about Alpha Core from that team. We just met the three original players, who you can see here in the uh, Alpha Core number one official animated trailer. That is embedded in the article over at Bounding Into Comics. I want you to check that out. We actually learn a lot more from the animated trailer than we do from their actual appearance in either ISOM number one or ISOM number two. But in ISOM number one, we get about two pages where we meet this team as they sort of emerge into the universe in Flores Park, Texas, where they are. They seem to be basically the, the government superhero team that oversees the Exeps, which is what is the superpowered beings in the Ripperverse are known as. And we see them very briefly. Here you see a little bit of Joe Bennett's incredible artwork uh, from Immortal Hulk, but this is the team right here. This is Brian Solari, Ingrid Valdez, the lady there with the uh, the electric wires or whatever it may be around her arms, and the helmet, the shaded helmet man here is, what is his name? I believe his name is Braxton. That's right. His name is Bra Braxwell. This is our team. That's all we really know from ISOM number one. Now, am I going to tell you these look like the most original, most interesting characters I've ever seen in my life? No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, but we don't know what we're going to see. It's because of the creators that are behind this that I'm really the most excited about it. Chuck Dixon has, I don't think I've ever read a bad book from Chuck Dixon. And Joe Bennett has produced some terrific artwork over the years. Again, I loved his work on Supreme. Uh, so we don't learn too much from ISOM number one, but we do meet these characters again. Here is a little preview of Ryaira, who is coming later in this year. We do meet these characters once again in the pages of ISOM number two. And in this scene, this is this animated trailer clip is a little bit of a is a sort of a take on the scene in ISOM number two. And here we see the characters arguing a little bit. Uh, we see they're not necessarily on the same page. And we get the idea that they're a pretty new team. Uh, they're coming together to basically oversee, like I said, the excepts in this area of Flores Park, Texas, where the entire Ripper universe, Ripperverse universe is centered around. Uh, so we don't know a ton. We just know a few things. We know the names of the characters. Uh, we know generally what they're there to do. And we know that they've recently come together. But what we know even more so beyond that, but beyond what we've seen in the trailer or beyond what we've seen uh, in the pages of ISOM number one and two, we know that we have Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett manning the helm here. Now, these guys have a lot in common. They both have faced a little bit of cancel culture in their days. Uh, it was not that long ago that when Chuck Dixon got brought onto the Ripperverse that there was a push to cancel him. You can find those articles over at Bounding Into Comics as well. And of course, Joe Bennett. We haven't seen him in Marvel Comics or either of the big two since 
the end of Immortal Hulk where Al Ewing actually said he'll never work with Joe Bennett again due to political cartoon that Bennett had done in uh, support of Brazilian President uh, Jair, Jair Bolsonaro. I think I said that right. I'm not here for political commentary, my friends. Uh, so these guys have both been on the outskirts of the mainstream, but they are certainly mainstream veterans. Uh, for sure, the biggest... Uh, the biggest comic artist, the biggest names that Eric July has been able to bring on thus far. Specifically, this is such a key book for the Ripperverse. Because this is where I would say, if this book doesn't deliver, a lot of fans are going to start thinking, well, was I just here to support Eric July, the artist, the political commentator, for whatever else I might enjoy him from? Or is there actually a universe that I'm going to independently enjoy just because of the way it's being built and because of the creators that have been brought in? So that's what we're going to find out with Alpha Core number one. I just got my email saying that it is being shipped. I'm very, very excited about this one, my friends. Check out the article over at boundingintocomics.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content from the team over here at Bounding Into Comics.